Welcome friends to another episode of 7 Days to Die modded with Darkness Falls on Alpha 19. So uh, the last few episodes here we've had a great run. We got uh, good tech, we got a sword, we got coil weapons. Uh, we're looking really good and the way we've been doing that is by doing the tier 5 uh, buried treasure which we do have one more I got from Trader Hugh when I loaded up this save. But tonight here we got some time. Uh, so what we're going to do is, oh my god, where did my watch go? Why isn't that showing up as... Oh no, maybe that, maybe that's a little broken. I did put another mod in with it. Uh, the banded armor plating mod. So let's go ahead and take that out and put it back in. And there we go. Okay, so apparently if the, that happens to you guys, uh, just put the mod in and out. It works. So tonight's goal here was to get better armored up. So I went and uh, looked across all of my stuff. Uh, I did put a military vest on. It's not that great. It's all we have. Uh, but we do have some good military gloves, uh, some decent steel stuff here, uh, some pants, thank God, and a uh, really good steel helmet. So I've been kind of throwing some mods in the stuff here and there just to amp stuff up, make sure I'm using all of my mods. Uh, so we're pretty much good to go there. We're still looking for a good chest, though. So I figured in the meantime what it will do, because I did invest some points, Points, is uh, build a robotic turret. So now that we have this guy up here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, build some mods for him, like an extended magazine mod. I believe that one's actually fairly cheap, and uh, we've been saving these up and buying them, and now we have 64. So yeah, look at that. Magazine extender mod at a minute 11 with uh, only five gener generic schematics. So I'm going to gather all this stuff up here. I'll probably actually make a couple of these because they're useful. And I also got to look up what other things we can throw in our turret. Oh, look at that, guys. It is morning time, so I've spent the uh, night improving all of our stuff here. I should have a few more bullets here for our coil gun. We really need to go out and uh, get ourselves some more plastic here ASAP because uh, we're going to go through a lot of that. So let's go ahead. Okay, so that'll definitely not work in that weapon, but I want to see if we have any extra slots for this here. There we go. We can throw it in our AR-15. Awesome. Okay, so we got a, a few more mods going on. Uh, for our turret, so far I only have uh, the full auto and uh, magazine extender mods. So yeah, that's actually going to do us really well. Uh, I'm going to make sure I actually grab its ammo here first. There we go. And uh, we're going to head out and do that uh, buried supplies quest. It looks like it is right over here in the winter biome. Sick. That's not even that far. All right, let's hop on my uh, mini bike and get the heck out of here. Okay, so I found our buried supplies here and I've made my exit. So that one wasn't actually too bad. I went across and then came back and went down this way. And uh, bam, I came across it. But look at this, literally on the edge of the uh, the boundary here. So good thing I wasn't really following it and I just kind of kept digging until I hit it. But uh, we found it. So my shtick with this because at a tier 5 you get some insane zombies and uh, it's really, really easy to get overwhelmed. Uh, what I do is I like to park my mini bike right outside of it, right here. There we go. And uh, we open it and take off as quickly as we can. Now the reason I do this is not because I'm afraid of the zombies. It'll just take up a crap load of ammo that we can actually use to uh, go and uh, check out the bunker. I think that would be pretty neat. Anyway, let's go ahead. Look at that berry supplies. Bam, we got a green key card there. That's sick. Let's get uh, the heck out of here. There we go. So not too many green, uh, key cards that time, but we did get a few other things that I absolutely missed. There we go. Look at all the zombies back there. See what I'm saying? Uh, that's, uh, that's quite a bit to take on. So if you can just get out of there quickly, you're actually uh, saving yourself some time and effort. Whoa. Well, look at this. There's a motorbike. I've never actually seen a motorbike before, and it's just sitting in the middle of the road, which also gave us a level 54 wrench. Nice. Uh, so we got some iron gloves, military gloves, whatever. Uh, some energy cells, as usual. We're going to have actually quite a few of those, I think, before we actually find uh, a laser gun, but whatever. It is what it is. We'll have that all banked up and nice and ready to go. All right, let's go home and see what the rewards are for that one. 
All right, so he's got 7,500 XP for us. That should actually level us, which is really good. Oh, no, I just made a robotic turret. Now we're going to add a point into that. Oh, well, uh, it's only 10 levels. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, we got an Iron Breaker mod, Steel Sledgehammer, Military Gloves, or Steel Crossbow. Let's go ahead and use the Iron Breaker mod. Damn. Okay, and let's take a look at his jobs here. What? Another one? Oh, two of them? Holy crap, guys. Okay, like, seriously, I've never seen this happen before. This is complete luck. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, get this one done. I don't even know how that happened. That's amazing. Three of them without even having to uh, to cheese. So there we go. It's fake, guys. The game wants us to do this. Uh, so let's go ahead and go over to Mechanic here. We want to do the robotics in one next level. And if we do get another level, I guess uh, we'll build another turret. So... Um, we'll have two of them going. That'd be, uh, actually pretty sick. And it looks like we are here. It's slick stuff. So let's go ahead and, uh, I don't even want to know. I don't even think I want to use a sword on these guys to break it down because I think if I, uh, repair the laser sword, I'll actually lose levels in it, which kind of really sucks. Have I come, come digging here before? What's this? Oh, look at that. Looks like I, I've dug here uh, for some reason at some point. Uh, cool stuff. Oh, see, like, uh, is that really worth doing? Nah, you know what we'll do? We'll use the AR-15. This thing's easily repairable. Uh, it doesn't take any damage, so... We'll use all our, uh, all our soft ammo on these guys. That's what we'll call it. Okay, well, I'm, I'm over here, and it looks like we've actually had... Um, a, a little treasure thing over here before. This is hilarious. And look at that. The other one uh, actually touches this one. Isn't that sick? Look at that. So I could actually, uh, I guess, whoa, 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 whoa wait, 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 what's this over here? Can I, can I search this again? Uh, I don't know how bad this is going to be. So, you know, we're, we're going to try searching that again. Uh, but I'm going to move my mini bike over to here so we can... Uh, get out easily. Holy crap. Maybe I should work on that. There we go. That should help me get out easier. Let's give this a try. I'm glad I got curious about that and went and uh, checked it out because I was like, no, it doesn't look like I dug a random hole there. So uh, what's the chances of that? Having a treasure land on an old treasure. That's crazy. And uh, we can actually... Oh, I'm lost already. <laughs> Where is this stupid thing? Okay, here it is. Oh, did I, oh, wrong entrance. Okay, there's nothing in it. Nothing in it. It didn't reset. Uh, now, I've heard that they actually do end up resetting, so um, that's a thing. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and, I guess, uh, start bashing away. Oh, my God, guys, look at this. As soon as I said start bashing away, I actually found it. It's right there. Buried supplies. Uh, right there for us. So let's go ahead and uh, get out of here. I hear um, Okay, it's just one zombie. We'll, we'll be fine with this. I'm gonna go and uh, dig my way up. Where was that thing? Ah, it's right here. Yeah, I'm gonna dig my way up. I think uh, Right here, and then we'll park outside Okay, here we go. So we got another chest going over here and bam we just got some uh, coils and Whoa! Oh, okay, I thought I was going to fall in the hole. That would have been uh, extremely dangerous. Uh, we just got some coils, and uh, what else did we get? The uh, White River Supplies. So, yeah, we actually didn't get much off that one. Damn, that was uh, probably the crappiest one we've had so far. Uh, whatever. Let's go ahead, hand this one in, and uh, grab that next one. All right, Hugh, what do you have for us here? He has a 44 Magnum Flaming Arrow Triple Pocket Mod. Ooh, you know what? I actually like that. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, grab that up. I think I can actually switch one of those out. So let's check out his jobs here again. He has yet another tier 5 buried supplies. We're going to go ahead and accept that. And uh, before I forget, I'm actually going to get that mod uh, hooked up to an actual piece of clothing. Okay, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. So it looks like maybe our treasure might be underneath the tree. Uh, unfortunately, we don't uh, hit another uh, old treasure from before. That is so cool. I, like, literally, first time I've ever had that happen uh, before in seven days to die. But anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do the dirty. Wish me luck. 
Well, I'm gonna say this one had me going for a little while, but I finally found it once again, uh, right tucked on uh, the border here of the yellow outline. Uh, crazy close. Anyway, uh, gonna do the usual here, kind of dig my way out, make it so that I can uh, see the buried treasure easily. There we go. Uh, bringing a lot of the dirt home. Always gotta bring home the dirt. There we go. Ladies like the dirt. Okay, so I'm gonna grab the mini bike, set this up. You guys know. Okay, let's take a look here this time, and we got, ooh. Oh, let's get out of here. Oh, that was close, guys. That was that was actually very, very close. Let's look behind me here. <laughs> look at them all. Uh, that actually doesn't seem like there's uh, that many, but uh, there's probably a few behind there, too, because uh, the last few times I've actually stopped to fight them. It was uh, They just kind of kept coming. But anyway, guys, I think we got a new uh, multi-tool on that one. We did! Level 21 multi-tool and one red key card. So we've gotten a couple more key cards, which is good. I kind of feel comfortable maybe going and attempting that, uh, that quest again. So before we go anywhere, I should actually head back down to the seasoned, uh, the seasoned survivor over here and uh, get that quest reset so that when we want to go back, we can go back instead of backtracking. I'm going to do that now. Ah, uh, here we go. Back to the uh, seasoned survivor here. So let's go and uh, talk to her. Do you have any jobs? Quest of the reward. There we go. We'll go and uh, attempt it again here uh, next episode. Before we go, though, I want to make sure I have a lot of shotgun rounds as well. Um, I think that'll really help. Uh, we have our JT. Maybe we'll get another level and uh, yeah, be able to bring two out and uh, really rock it. All right, guys, I got a little bit of a drive home here through the uh, the snowstorm. I'll see you there. Hey, okay, buddy. what does uh, Hugh okay, have for us? Dead body you here. <laughs> awesome. Anyway, he's got, uh, I think this is a no-brainer right here. We're going to select the uh, generic schematic and uh, grab that as a reward. So let's take a look at his jobs here. He has a clear zombies, clear zombies, um, or a fetch here. I'm going to see what tier 5 this guy has going on over here. Let's, uh, oops, this inventory. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, check his job here. He has a tier 5 uh, fetch. We could attempt that in half a day, I think. Apartment brick, sixth floor. Yes. Yes, we could totally can pull that one off uh, very, very easily, I think. Okay, so let's see exactly where that is. It's right over here. Oh, yes, we've done this before. Um, I do believe it's all the way at the top, so this is going to be uh, real easy to do. We'll be in and out and do another tier five right away. That's sick. Okay, here we go, guys. This is not the one I think that I was uh, thinking of. Holy crap, this one's huge. Oh, no, wait. It's got to be. I think it's the same one. Yeah, here it is. It's in the back where I climbed up. I was looking for balconies, and I didn't recognize any of them. Okay, awesome. Well, uh, let's get this place reset here because uh, we've already actually used it. And if I do find anything plastic... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, save those up. So what do we have going on here? I hear a zombie. There we go. Let's get rid of this uh, burn victim. Wow. Didn't even stand a chance. Uh, and I'm going to just straight up pull my way right up to the top of this building here. I think it's on the uh, the top floor over there. Okay, here we go, guys. So we've uh, pulled all the way up to the uh, top floor here. And it looks like it's actually... Oh, it says down. Hmm... Let's hop in here. Oh, maybe it is in a different floor this time. Okay, okay, that's a that's a little trick here. I can enjoy that. So let's go ahead. Ooh, ouch, ouch. And uh, cave in that railing. I did the same thing here too. The railing's real funky. And it says up. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pull up here until I don't see an arrow. Okay, so it looks like then uh, it's actually going to be on this floor. And uh, guys, by suggestion, uh, I put on a silencer on here. Because someone said it uh, also um, reduces the amount of screamers you get from the coil gun. And you can get some, uh, some sick uh, stealth kills here. So let's go ahead and actually take these out. And uh, take these guys out here. See if we can't do this properly. There we go. Holy crap, look at that. Not even a chance on that. And it didn't wake up the other zombies either, so that's uh, that's pretty damn slick. Okay, well, I'm going to take a little bit of a risk here, get a little closer, because there's a lot of zombies in this room. And uh, you know what? 
Oh, I don't have any armor armor piercing on me, of course. But whatever. This this work. There we go. Hey. Hey. Hey, what the? Okay, there we go. Uh, that's a little on. Okay, I gotta lift it up a little higher. That's what I gotta do. Damn. This gun takes care of business. I'm wearing some heavy armor too, guys. So that's that's almost uh, it's a, it's almost a, a blessing in disguise there. Okay, so let's hop down. Uh, we have one over there. Let's go ahead. Bam. Oh shoot! I shot the wall. I'm gonna stay away from that pile of garbage right there. I don't want to wake him up. And yeah, it's weird with the silencer on it because I I can't see it. Okay, so now we woke them up. That wasn't very successful. And he's down. Okay. Well, I think I uh, I think I got this. Oh crap! Look at this. We got some more incoming. Uh, we'll use the uh, we'll use a pistol on this guy here. Oh, that was an easy takedown. Okay. Anyone else? Oh, we got a tryhard over here. And uh, apparently, I really suck with this thing. Oh, look at that! He's on fire. <laughs> I forgot the fire mod was on this thing. Oh, the fire mod is on this thing. When I swing it, it's on the end of it, so you can't actually see it on your screen. That's really nice, actually. Oh, look at that. Level 45 SMG. Oh, no, not a bad little find there. Oh, thank you very much, zombie. You gave me uh, some pretty damn good stuff. Okay, so uh, we got to kind of keep crawling through this place, I think, here. We got a shotgun beside a chest. We're going to give that a crack open. Definitely give that a search. Nice, some repair kits that'll uh, save me on time, big time. And uh, check this weather sports bag. Sometimes these things actually give you some decent stuff. Check these shades, guys, when you get them. Uh, I have these guys on me here. Uh, the myth shades uh, gives a loot bonus of 75, extra quest reward options one, and bonus quest rewards 25%. So uh, pretty big boost. Okay, well, since we can cheat this, let's go ahead and uh, and cheat this here. I don't see any zombies out in the open, so I'm going to assume there's one in the closet up over there. And uh, we're getting getting pretty close. Okay. Nope, actually there wasn't. I got real lucky. Uh, where is this package? Whoa, crap! Oh, Jesus. That actually scared me enough. <laughs> Jump scared me enough that it, it made my mouse go flying. Whoa, sorry. Uh, rest in peace there, uh earphone users that's my bad so where's this other zombie here uh, we're 3.6 meters away so I'm gonna assume uh, that it's in uh, this room right here so we're gonna go ahead and unlock unlo that bad boy uh, it sounds like the zombie might be up in here too oh nope but there is one right here <laughs> he doesn't even know I'm here there we go uh, how do we get into that room Oh, there he is! He's right over here. Hey, buddy. Hello, guys. What's going on? Uh, we could do the whole crouch thing. There we go. I hear some, um... Oh. Look at that. Cheese! I can find the courier satchel. It's right here. It's in the wall in this room. Uh, but we got him. Awesome. Okay. Well, I'm going to look around here for uh, stuff that could potentially uh, produce some plastic stuffs for us and uh, make my way out. Okay, well, I found a TV and that gave us uh, five pieces of plastic. And uh, is that a chest up there? And can I reach it from here? Or a uh, bookshelf? It is! Nice! Look at that! What is this here? Reloading Weekly. I've actually uh, already w read that, apparently. Okay, well, we'll definitely uh, scrap that. And I did think I seen another one pop up in here, but... Oh, there it is! There it is! We'll get rid of that one, too. Okay, uh, looks like there's really not too much for plastic stuffs up in this place. Uh, so I'm gonna get out of here. We'll, we'll spend the last few hours looking for a place that may have a lot of boxes or something in it. Okay, here we go. This place looks like it's uh, a good source of supplies as well. We may as well uh, give her a little bit of a shot. There's even a cardboard box on the outside. That's that's freaking awesome. Okay, well, uh, I'm going to get to uh, scrapping down here. How many did we get? Two. Damn, that's, that's not even that much. Okay, I'm going to break my way through here with uh, all the wrong tools. And look at that. A box right inside the window for us. That's actually, uh, that's actually kind of sick. There we go. 
And a very angry feral zombie, which I'll just continue to cut down with my axe. Oh, now stuff is getting serious. <laughs> Sick. I'll take your dirty sandwich. All right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and break my way in here and uh, steal all the things. Look at all the boxes in here. Oh, it sounds like we may have a, uh, a raider out here. I was hearing a whole bunch of weird squishing noises. And I wasn't sure uh, what to think. Where is this dude? I heard him. Oh, look, a snake. Someone killed a snake. Why, why did a snake die? I definitely didn't kill it. Maybe the... Uh, Maybe the raider, oops, wrong tool. Uh, maybe, maybe the raider did? Is that guy a raider over there? Well, let's find out. No, that's a survivor, okay. No, we're cool. Survivor apparently killed the, the snake over here. I've never seen that before. Yeah, taking these things out, very much worth it. You get some springs, you get some mechanical parts, and you get a lot of iron ingots out of the deal. Like, look at that. We're on our second one now, and uh, we're up to 28, 29, and 34 ingots off those two machines. That was actually uh, uh, pretty badass. All right, well, I'm going to go around and uh, continue to hit things for plastic here and uh, hopefully make some progress on that. Okay, you know what? I decided uh, this is not going to be a great source here. Actually, let's, let's take this thing out. Is this going to give us any plastic? No, it's probably like concrete or metal, right? Yeah, it's metal, damn it. Uh, so what we're going to do then is just drive around a little bit and uh, take out some cars. Cars are uh, nice and easy. Wow, I'm, I'm pretty overburdened here. Yeah, there we go. I got 10 plastic off that one car. So that's definitely, I think, for now... Uh, our best source, especially for driving around in a town like this. I'll just uh, hit up all the cars I can find. Whoa, look at this police car, guys. I open it up. It has an auto shotgun, 44 Desert Vulture, SMG, and uh, some bullet parts and a handful of ammo. Damn, these police cars look like they're really the ones you want to hit up. So if you ever see a police car, guys, aim for it. You want to get that loot out of that thing. Holy crap. So I just took a, um, a city bus out and got 20 plastic parts out of the deal. So those things actually give you uh, quite a few here. Holy crap, look at my inventory. Uh, let's take a look here. 89 scrap polymers. That's actually not bad. We're heading home with uh, a decent amount here. So of course, uh, it's 1915, so I need to uh, really work my way towards home here. It's not too far from here. I can actually uh, shortcut through the mountains, I think. But we should be home shortly. I'm going to hit up two more cars. And oh, look at that. Level 56 mining helmet. We're finding some pretty crazy stuff here today. And uh, anyway, I'll see you there. We got to make some shotgun shells. There we go. Made it home with a couple daylight hours to spare. So I figured it's been a few days here, a few episodes since we've thrown our farm together. Uh, let's go and check out if we have had any success at all. So yeah, I'm apparently uh, doing something completely wrong here because I'm seeing uh, no growth and it doesn't make, I, like, I don't even know how to tell if these, these pipes are actually uh, uh, working or not because these things are all still seeds, but it will still give them a couple days. We'll see what's going on and uh, I'll have to do a little bit more uh, research on that then. But yeah, still nothing out of that. Damn. All right, I'm super slow here, but uh, in here we do have some room and availability to actually make our uh, our uh, shotgun shells now. So let's take a look at uh, ammo. We got 241 coil batteries. Hopefully that's enough. Uh, we got a whole bunch of buck shots. Yeah, we got we got stuff we can we need here to build the uh, coil shells. I believe that's all we need. Yeah, coil shell, buck shot, scrap polymers, coil battery. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, who. 125 for 125 rounds. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to figure out the uh, uh, the scrap polymer stuff here. If you guys know, definitely let me know down in the comments. That would save uh, that would save us a lot of time here. But there we go. That's a lot of shotgun shells. Um, hopefully enough to get through uh, the lab. But we also do need to make some more coil pistol rounds too here. Even for horde night, it's day 47. Uh, our next horde is uh, day 50, I do believe. 
Day 49, holy math and stuff. Day 49, hey Steves, what's up? You guys uh, keeping a vigilant watch? Other Steves, you guys watching too? That's cool. I do see him way over there, kind of stumbling around on his own like a big old dumb uh, zombie. Uh, Richard is still down there. He's serving time. Um, a lot of people have asked me to give him forgiveness. Uh, it's not going to happen, guys. I apologize. I don't even apologize. That's my decision. Anyway, uh, that's about it for this episode, guys. I'm going to get some uh, coil stuff on the way here, uh, other stuff together. Um, I have to spend some time organizing this mess here in my inventory. And we'll be back for another episode. Um, hmm. I'll have to figure out if we're going to go try to hit up the lab right away or go hit up a few more POIs and uh, try to get ourselves uh, some mad um, some mad scrap polymers together for ammo for both Horde Knight and the lab. Have a good one, guys. No matter what you people say, I'm gonna do my thing my way. No matter what you people do, I'm gonna do my thing much better than you. No matter what you say or do, oh boy, you're out of luck. It's gonna roll right off of me like water off the back of a duck. Good boy.